Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and today I'm back again for another last question mark race. This one is around Portimao or Portugal. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing this one as Lando Norris in the McLaren. Obviously, we did a last question mark race last year around this track, and we know it was pretty chaotic into turn one. And all the AI have opened up their DRS. Now I'm slightly worried how they're going to be into turn one. And it's lucky I was slightly worried because that was chaotic as hell. So yeah, we may have to watch out for that and try and avoid that. I apologise about it. It's just AI cannot survive this track's turn one for some reason. So yeah, I just guess we're going to have to jump into it, try and avoid it. If it happens, it might not, who knows, but yeah, let's just see how it goes then. So, returning to Portimao once again then, for another last question mark race, and it is lights out. And away we go here, wheel spinning off the line, which didn't help my chances whatsoever. We we're going to try and sit in the slipstream of the two Williams cars, so try and go around the outside and avoid the chaos. And to be fair, there wasn't that much of it. That was actually surprisingly clean. As the avatar is trying down my inside here. Can I keep it? If I go flat through here, I should be able to. Yes, I do manage to keep it. Sit in the slipstream of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, I think this is. Try and outbreak him down into the hairpin section. Very nicely. Get on the throttle. Nice move down the inside there. Next is, well, either the Alpine or the other Ferrari. And it's a Ferrari going to be of Carlos Sainz who almost spun there he's struggling a lot with the traction obviously he had a very good start here in the McLaren last year oh that's the Aston Martin who spun off there that was a weird weird uh, spin by him but nevertheless he went flying off the track gives us another position sit in the switch stream of Fernando Alonso. I am going to use DRS straight away here on lap one just for the fact that they're all going to use it and I don't want to be left behind because I didn't use it. So flip the DRS open, slip stream them very nicely. Surprisingly, I'm really slow down the straight, which is very weird to say the least. Into turn one for the second time. Looks like everyone survived this time. I almost lost it. Try around the outside. Is that going to work? Probably not. It looks like it might be another hairpin send. Or not, because he sent it on his teammate. Antonio Giovinazzi is retired, probably through turn one. They're going to end up crashing these two in a minute, the way they're battling, as I completely lose the traction once again. It's funny, it's a McLaren, Alpine, Alpine, McLaren. So, yeah, my aim is to try and beat my teammate, and I can see him, so I just need to try and get past these Alpines. So I can try and overtake Ricardo. I will get Slipstream and DRS once again. If I can get a good exit out of here, maybe I can have a go. I got very good exit here. That was very surprising, especially that. Well, that's not really an overtaken opportunity. But I went for it nevertheless. I'm going to sit in the slipstream. We managed to get back past. So we'll just sit in the slipstream. Maybe try around the outside into turn one. We can outbreak him. I'm not going to worth it. risk it. Maybe into this next corner though. Down the inside. Push him out wide a bit. He turned in on me a bit there. I was strained from him. I don't know if it was off on or Alonso. I couldn't even tell. But whoever it was, didn't leave enough space. I think it was Alonso. So yeah, that is very weird. But next is Ocon. Then it's my teammate. Let's go full concentration mode then and try and get past these two. The next car is a bit up the road. So this is my main priority right now. As Ocon almost completely loses it. Living down to third. Coming up to the blind corner. 
Should we risk it? We're not going to risk it. It's not worth risking it completely. We are going to get a massive amount of slipstream and DRS if we get a good exit out of here. Which we have. Which is going to help me out massively. Try and get in the slipstream. The other cars are kind of left a bit behind, so that's good. They're a lot quicker than me. He's a lot closer, though, to be fair. So, would be a bit quicker. As I completely lose the back end once again, you can just hear my will force feedback again, push around as I try and catch a car. Get in the slipstream. Should we send it down the inside again? Screw it. Let's go for it. Down the inside. Of rest around knock on. Went for my teammate to accelerate, and he does. Managed to make the move stick very nicely. Next is my teammate, Daniel Ricardo. No team orders this time, though. Oh! That was tragic. Now Ocon's down my inside. Ocon! Whoa! Oh, that's actually ruined my race. He just lost it right in front of me. And there was nothing I could have done. I was just a passenger sat there watching him. Oh no. I don't think I'll catch the Ricardo this time now. It'll have to be some miracle if I can. Try and get as close as possible to Alonso. Try and get some slipstream. Obviously he's got DRS as well. This game's so unrealistic. Like, I'm literally so close to him. Should we send it down inside? Screw it. Let's go for it. Send it down inside. Of Alonso. Imagine to make the move stick on lock on through that same corner, and this time on Alonso. Now let's go try and catch out my McLaren teammate, Daniel Ricciardo. See if I'm getting before the end of the race. It's going to be quite intense to say the least. A very weird race as well. One full of chaos. Luckily I didn't get damage either because damage is on. Also as you can tell by the fact that I'm losing all traction in the car. No traction is for me in this race as well. I decided to disable traction control. So see how it goes and it's very difficult. Probably the worst track to do it on but screw it. I'll just thought let's see how it goes. Get up really close to Ricardo. Getting some fatty, dirty air though from him. Try and get a good exit out of here. We've got a very good exit. Try and get in the slipstream. In the slipstream, but I don't think I can do anything. It's just. He's just so quick. But we finished P4. Holy damn. We managed to get from P20 to P4 just because of chaos. And a few overtakes, so I'll take it. Um, a very interesting race, to say the least. Quite weird, obviously, with the chaos, but it was obviously going to happen with the fact that, obviously, all the AI don't know how to take this track. But yeah, I'll take P4. My teammate just ahead of me got P3. But I'm going to leave this video here. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.